What's going on guys? In this video we are going to see how to show limit does not exist in three dimensional space. And we know that when we have two dimensional space, for example, if we have x, y axis, and if we, if we have a limit that approaching from left side is not equal to the limit approaching from right side, then we say the limit does not exist. Also we express that one as limit x approaches a minus is not f of x is not equal to limit x approaches a plus f of x and if it's not equal limit does not exist and here what we are going to do is we are going to use the same idea in three dimensional space here what's going to happen is here this this is only for x y like we only look at left and right that's it but in three dimensional space we we can take any direction right so for example if we have this one approaching this side from this side and from this side and multiple possible sides and if one of them is not equal then we say limit does not exist and let's go ahead and write this draw this one in two diagram i mean 2d diagram so here if we say for example here we are looking at the question that's approaching zero right so if we look at this one from y-axis, if we're approaching from 0, if it's not equal to the x-axis approaching approaching towards 0, if, it's, if both of them are not equal, we can say limit does not exist. Now this is the idea we are going to use right here to solve this problem, right? And here you can see limit x, y approaching 0, 0, x square over x square plus y square. And if you plug this 0 for these things, you will get 0 over 0, right? So we cannot directly apply this one and also we cannot use L'Hopital rule in three dimensional space. So for multivariable cal calculus we have to use different techniques. So here what we are going to do is we are going to take this like this approach. We are going to look individual part. For example, we are going to say like uh, if it's uh, approaching zero from x axis and we say and then we say like this is approaching from y-axis and if we find the value that's not equal then we say limit does not exist and if that if it is equal sometime we have to go and do more of them right and find one of them does not equal now let's let's go ahead and do a pro, do an example <laughs> okay here what we are going to do is we are going to say limit x approaches zero let's look at this one limit x approaches 0 right and uh, x square plus x square over x square plus y square that's our question and if we consider only x approaches 0 what's going to happen is this x values are going to be 0 right 0 over 0 plus y square now we have only 0 or y square and that's going to be 0 so this is when limit x approaches 0 so now let's look at what happens if we have y approaches 0 limit y approaches 0 and if y approaches 0 we are going to have x square over x square plus y square and if we plug this value we are going to have x square over x square plus 0 square and 0 is going to be just 0 so we only going to have x square over x square that's going to be equal to 1 right and from this end we can see that x approaches 0 and y approaches 0 is not equal because here we are getting 0 here we are getting 1 therefore we can say limit does not exist limit does not exist and that's how we show the uh, limit does not exist in three dimensional space i hope this helps thanks for watching